This is the solution to the ray tracing diagrams for a converging convex positive lens. All right, to begin with, I've got three different rays I'm going to go through, and I'm just going to pick two at a time and kind of repeat and show you how it all works. You can see on the lens where I've got my center, my focus, and I've got these F primes and C primes. They really don't mean anything. It just means that they're a different focus, either primary or secondary. And I've also identified the primary focus side and the secondary focus side. And you can see the help videos from the worksheet to figure out uh, how that's done. All right, let's get started. First thing I need is I need a line of approximation. This whole thing is a thin lens approximation. So the lens is part of a sphere. And the line down the middle, that's where the actual refraction will occur for our approximation. In reality, it's, a, it's more complex than this. But this is just a simple introduction. So to do ray 1, I'm going to go parallel to the principal axis and reflect it through the primary focus at the middle. That's the middle of the lens. So A goes parallel till it hits the middle. And then it refracts through the primary focus. So that's the primary focus on the right. And that gives me a line. I've got a dotted line on the left because that's dotted virtual line. See, the light goes through the lens, so it belongs on the right. That's the real image side and the real side of the light. On the left is where you won't see the light that's refracted, so that's the virtual side. Let's go to ray 2 in blue. Straight through the vertex. That's easy. From A, straight through the middle of the lens, it just keeps on going. And I've got, again, virtual side on the left and the real side on the right. Where these two rays cross, that's where the tip of A will be found. And the bottom of A will be along the axis itself. So A will look like this from the axis to where they cross. That's going to be A. Let's go to B. So for B, I've got my approximation line. And I'm going to start with two different rays, a ray through the vertex. So from B, straight through the middle of the lens. And then ray 3, through the secondary focus to the middle of the lens refracted parallel to the axis. Ooh. So it's going to look something like this when I draw it. Go through the secondary focus until I hit the lens, the line in the middle, and it, once it hits there, at that point, it'll go parallel. So now it's going parallel. Where the two cross, that's where the tip of B will be found, and the bottom of B will be on the axis. So I'll draw the image for B to look like this. So there's B. Okay, let's keep going. C. I'm going to draw my approximation line, and ray 1 is going to be parallel, and then through the primary focus. And ray 2 will be through the vertex, so from the tip of C down. So the tip of C will be where these two lines cross, and the base is going to be right there on the axis. So that's what C is going to look like. You can see I'm looking a bit of a trend here. Let's look at D at when it's at the focus itself. So there's my approximation line. I'm going to start with a straight line through the vertex. Okay, that's easy enough. Now I'm going to draw uh, through the secondary focus to the middle of the lens and refract it parallel to the principal axis. But D is on the secondary focus. So my line would look like this. The ray from that will never even touch the lens. So let's try something else. Let's try ray 1. Parallel the principal axis and refract it through the primary focus at the middle. So here it is in green, parallel, and then through the primary axis. Well, actually, that doesn't really help me because both these rays, the red and the green, they have the same slope. They're not going to touch each other. So our image isn't going to be formed. We can just say it's, it's out at infinity. You're not going to see it. Okay, let's keep going for E. So for E, there's my line of approximation. I'm going to draw ray 1 parallel and then refract it through the principal, or sorry, primary focus. And then for ray 2, through the vertex. Nice and easy. And you can see they cross not on the right where the other images were, but on the left. So this is a virtual image this time because it's where the light doesn't belong. The light goes through the lens and it belongs on the right. But that light isn't going through the image. So because the light that's refracted isn't going through the image, it's a virtual image. So it's virtual on the left. Let's do F, too. So when I do F, there's my approximation line. I'll go straight through the vertex. And there's F. And I'll go uh, through the secondary focus. And when I'm doing this, I'm just really using the secondary focus to help me aim to where it hits the lens. And then where it hits the lens, that'll be parallel. So there's my dotted line, and where the two dotted lines cross in this case, there's my image. So it's also a virtual image, because the light doesn't go through the image itself. Okay, let's see what we can learn from this from trends. So when I'm looking at this, I can see the objects A, B, and C, as they move from far away towards the lens, I can see what happens to my images. My images do the same thing on the opposite side, and they're inverted, and they're getting smaller. Now let's look at what happens to the images 
from inside the focus to the front of the lens. From inside the focus to the front of the lens, these ob objects, E and F, I can see what happens to my images. They come way out at infinity and move in towards the lens. And they'll be the same height when the object is right in front of the lens as close as possible.